Obviously, I don't condone violence or degeneracy against developers, and when it comes my way, I block it and move on. I don't give it attention, as don't feed the trolls is a phrase that I've heard before in my life, and practice online especially. If Santa Monica is paying someone for PR, fire them. Trolls do not make up the majority of your audience. So the only thing that you're doing by granting them attention over everyone else is validating them. The majority of players' reaction to this statement was, oh shit, I thought this was a delay. And they went back to doing what the hell they doing. So you posting this, oh, somebody did something in Dutch bad, you shouldn't do that again. It's a signal boost. You know, you're, you're on the internet. Are you new? Welcome. Instead of showing us what happened, you're... Yeah, you're making a post claiming that you celebrate community, but, but you're disabling the comments. God of War was supposed to come out in like 2021, right? Of course, some of these weirdos are passionate. You influence them to run out and buy a console under the impression that by the end of 2021, they would have their new God of War to play. During one of the most historically difficult times to secure a console without having to pay some exorbitant price, is this an excuse for their behavior? Of course not, but factor it in. Your PR's boneheaded choice in attempting to control the narrative and disabling the comments shows exactly how opposed to the social part of social media you actually are. You know how a girl will say, ah, I'm ugly in this picture and expects a certain response when she posts that? Fishing. This kind of nonsense is win-win for people invested in drama or, or Alana Pierce who needs to tell everybody, you know, how big a victim she is. But you're all about maturity, right? And community. That's why... <sighs> Enough. We never seem to see this stuff out of Genshin Impact developers. And if you think the passion in your fan base comes anywhere close to a game that ain't afraid of titties, I'm not going to go there. But I do have one serious question to ask. Did gamers give a shit about how technically phenomenal Last of Us 2 was, or did its nonsense Amber Heard all over the damn bed before the game came out? Two years later, only 10 million copies sold. I don't want this signal boosted. I want it to find the right person. Shut the fuck up. We all agree. Violence is not cool. But don't, don't catalyze the negative behavior of these people and claim, oh, I had no idea. Because we will regard you as stupid. Because that's how you acted. Stop. Stop feeding the trolls. For the record, I won't care about God of War until it hits uh, PlayStation Plus or maybe PC. But the funny and sad part about this is Santa Monica put a spotlight on the worst minority of the gaming community in a failed attempt at hyping up news of their release date. <laughs> and I'm sure the ripples of this are going to drift right into normie media who's frothing at the mouth already for opportunities to claim that gamers are violent. TikTok's getting banned. Uh, nicotine's getting reduced. Women's rights have been canceled. Movies and theaters are damn near unwatchable. Everyone's outlets are under fire, unless you're an alcoholic. Woke pandering and insecure hypocrite devs claiming inclusion while excluding are already ruining gaming. But Santa Monica had to signal boost. Because you thrive on that attention, you thought. Gamers who have done nothing love hearing entitled this and toxic that. And I hope you get the press you're fucking looking for. Because you'd have to be some sort of Kentucky Fried Rube to think that this is going to have anything but the opposite effect of what you're implying. You know, of course it's going to stop, you know what I mean? Because trolls operate just like you. Because they're susceptible to shaming and other tactics that you could think up with your with your dog-loving companions that you, you stop by the desks of, you know? <laughs> Y'all take it easy, man. Jesus.